There you guys, today's wig is brought to you by HerGivenHair.com. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. Also, if they have any other social media links, I'll be sure to link it below in the description box too. The order number is pretty long, so I'll be sure to put it in the description box. But the wig that I have today is a lace closure wig. It has a 4x4 four four lace parting. The texture of this hair is a 3C 4A coily hair texture that's more on the kinky curly side. The color of this wig is natural, and I have it in the size medium. When you receive your wig, they send you an elastic band with two combs and two clips. As I said before, this is a lace closure wig, so this is what the sides look like just in case the wind blows. To style the wig, I'm going to go in and co-wash the wig. I'm using my Sexy Hair Sulfate Free Conditioner. This is some really good conditioner I brought from Cosmoprop. I have conditioner all over the hair. I'm just going to take my wide tooth comb, start from the ends, work my way to the roots, and just detangle the hair. Right here is some of the shedding I got when I was detangling the hair while it had the conditioner in it. The first product that I'm using on the hair, I got it from a grand opening from a salon that opened in New York. If I could find the link, I'll be sure to leave it below. I got this product from my local beauty supply store. I'll be sure to leave the link below. This will be my first time using the product, so I'll be sure to give you my thoughts in the end. So now to start my twisties. So I'm just gonna take a small section of hair. I wasn't sure I kind of twist that out. I wanted if I wanted big chunks of twist out or small or medium. So I went with kind of like smallish medium. I'm gonna take a little bit of that product while the hair is still damp, put it on the hair. Then I'm going to separate the hair and start twisting. We're 
about to turn it on. guys this is pretty much my end results and I honestly love it I think this wig is very gorgeous it is giving me natural vibes honestly the twist out came out great this was my first time doing a twist out as for the product that I used on the hair with the water it is very moisturizing um, I feel the product on my fingers also not only i feel the product it's very lightweight i really love that the only issue i have with the product i don't know if i use too much on the hair it leaves like this little white like little white powder on it after it dried i don't know if that's due to the fact that i probably used too much i didn't think i used that much but maybe i guess it was too much so I'm going to try the product out again and if that white residue happens, like that little white powder, I can't see it now because I like brushed it out so you could barely see it in the wig. But if I, if I do that again and it happens, I don't think I really use the product for twist that. I probably use something else. So the wig. I feel like the density is really nice. It's more on the medium side. It's kind of medium, but because it's curly, it makes it look so full. But that's good because nobody really wants like a thin poof, afro. <laughs> I did get shedding. Shedding was very minimum. It's like the same amount I get when I like comb my hair. It's not too much, but it's like on the medium side. 
As for tangling, I did get a few snags when I was washing the hair, but after that, I didn't get any more. And I was using a wide tooth comb, so that could also be the reason too. But that's fine with me, because if I'm using a wide tooth comb and the wig is tangling, then there's something really wrong with this wig. As for what's left, I don't know. I like how natural the top is looking, honestly, ladies, come on. So if I'm like sitting on the bus or train and somebody's over me, I'm just giving some natural scalp vibes. <laughs> the length. I love the length. It's like shoulder length on me. And a lot of you guys might be like, oh, I don't like the length, but I really like it, you guys. Like... Ah, I like it. I like it a lot. So that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.